So hi, we have Mark here from uh, Neo Eye, and they do Android phones, which are really nice-looking Android phones. And uh, I would like to learn more about their pricing and uh, what makes them different. Among other things, besides the Android phones, we also have normal phones that we started off with four and a half years ago. These are 809 and 909 series. It's the smallest. Is that, a phone? that is the phone. That is the thinnest phone in the world. You see, everything is glued down at the exhibition. Here we have the, it's the thinnest mobile in the world. Yeah. Yeah. So one cent. One cent, yes. Not enough room for two cents. Then it's the smallest mobile in the world. And this is the most secure hard drive in the world. Okay? That's how we started off. And then as the industry grew, we went into our Android line. We are proud to present in mass production our Android iDesk Earth 603. Economic friendly cover. If you kind of feel the texture of it. Very nice. And uh, what's the difference between this Android 2.2 tablet and all the others is it has a fully GSM 3G phone inside. So and how uh, much are these priced at? Uh, Starhub will premiere this at about 799 Singapore dollars. It's a high-end device. Yeah, it's a high-end device because it's also a phone. It is uh, HD. Everything that the tablet has to offer is inside. Uh, then we are mass production, we are in mass production of our... Uh, so do you normally focus on high-end devices or yes. medium devices? Or? Uh, we, are, we, are, we have to follow the market and do also low-end or medium devices. So what, which one, which Android phone, like for example yesterday I saw an Android phone with keyboard for $55, it was mind-boggling. So, you know, which, which... No, you saw, what you saw was an MTK $55. A what? An MTK Android $55 phone. I have no idea what that is. MTK is a chip maker in China. Oh, okay. Who is now releasing Android. We also work with them. Okay. This would be an Android MTK version for $98. Approximately. Approximately. But it's a full screen one. Full screen. This one for about 120 Something in that range. Though? The difference is just the uh, components of the Android software. In order for you to have a fully functional Android software and all of its components, you need to have a software development team. You can cut the components since it's an open source system, right? For example, to give you an example, this is our medium end phone. This is our I'm very proud of this phone. This is our QWERTY Android phone, okay? The touch screen is secondary because it's a business phone. Uh, in order for me to process the speed up, I took out the ringtones. But you go into market, get the ringtone droid maker, and you put your own ringtones back in. So how much that, is that one, this one? This one is a little bit on the medium end uh, in retail, you mean? So uh, like this is 98, this is 120. This is a wholesale, wholesale. Okay, yeah, it's a wholesale price. Uh, wholesale price is about US dollars, 160, 180. Okay. Retail than normally double. And these are uh, chipsets of Qualcomm? These are, no, these are Sony Ericsson. Sony Ericsson. Sony Ericsson. Qualcomm has a problem uh, with some chipsets is that Qualcomm does not have a flash license anymore. It's not a matter of an argument if flash is important or not because everybody is converting to HTML5, HTML5, but um, uh, if you don't have a flash license as a chip, Maker, you will have like a domino effect. You will not have a license for this, you will not have that. So a lot of people are switching off of Qualcomm. Qualcomm is coming out with a new chip, 7627, but um, it is not. It's The chip is out in the beta testing, but nobody up there is using it. I know that um, Huawei is up there saying that they have the new Qualcomm 7626. If you go inside the software, it will show you 7227. Everybody's only in the beta phase of this um, because this chip will be a little bit faster and Qualcomm always... So, say this $98 phone, Yeah. Uh, this is one SIM, 
nice camera. No, this is dual SIM. This is dual SIM. And the scanner, uh, the what's scanner the processor is, on it? Uh, it's a Speed? 480, 480 um, MTK processor because it's MTK. That's uh, pretty cool. It's a, it, it, it's it is. Very it, cool it, it, it depends. It depends on from an Android point of view what you want as an end user. Android has so many unlimited amounts of possibilities. Some people like this. Some like this. And if you were, what you do as press compared to the iPad? What is the problem with the iPad? Apple is trying to corner you. You must have this. You must do this. You must have. This. Android says, I don't care. Here is a phone. Load the applications. Don't load the applications. Put something on there. It just makes no difference to you. Android. So that's the advantage of the whole Android system. Thank you so much, Mark. This My is a, pleasure. I hope that a lot of people can contact you. What's the website address of yours? www.neoi.de And how does your email? What's your email? My email? neoi at neoi.de All emails cross me. All right. Thank you.